Great. So I want to get a bolster or a pillow and we'll get started. And so let's start seated. I had such an honor last week of getting to do some training in breath and um, energy, prana and pranayama. And it really was amazing. And I suppose it is so powerful when we start to really cultivate a relationship with our breath. And the breath and the mind are two great friends. Once we start to train and understand our mind, or rather our breath, then we are training and understanding our mind because they go together. And so tonight's class is really breath focused. We'll be moving, we'll be very much, we'll be breathing and moving with the breath. And so let's close our eyes and drop in. And so as always, it's good to start by stopping. And so letting go of anything you've been doing up to now today. And begin to just notice your breath. So today, tonight, we're going to focus on diaphragmatic breathing. And this is the basis of all the breathing techniques. And it's the three-part yogic breathing. And so the diaphragm is like a little dome here just below the ribs. And as you inhale, it flattens. So the lungs fill up and the diaphragm flattens. And as you exhale, it lifts. And the pelvic diaphragm does something very similar with each inhale and exhale. And so as it flattens, it pushes the belly out. And as you exhale, it domes up and the belly comes back in. And we're not really using abdominal walls, abdominal muscles, the abdominal muscles are relaxed. It's the movement of the diaphragm that makes the belly open out or extend. So let's try just a little bit of that. And it can be good to put your hands here on the lowest part of your lungs, here just around where your ribs are, and breathe here. And so I always, for me, it really has helped using the image of a glass of milk. As you pour milk into a glass, it first hits the bottom of the glass, and then it comes to the middle and then the upper part. And when you're pouring the milk out of the glass, it empties from the top, then the middle, and then the bottom. And it's the exact same with the breath. So let's start by focusing first on getting the breath right down into the lower lungs. This is where there is the most receptors for the parasympathetic nervous system. And so it immediately has a more relaxing effect. When we get the breath right down there, we very commonly breathe mostly up high. So let's breathe here, focusing on getting the breath right down into the lowest part of the lungs. Taking a deep inhale, feel the ribs expand, the diaphragm descends, the belly open, ex expands. And as you exhale, the diaphragm rises, belly, belly draws in, the ribs draw in. And here you're focused on the mechanics of the breath. Trying to get the breath right down into that lowest part of the lungs. And now let's bring the breath up into, the, we'll notice it in the mid lungs. Of course, it starts in the bottom, then comes to the mid. So breathing into the mid lungs, the breath hits the bottom, but we're going to focus on it in the mid lungs. So your hands are just here. Take an inhale and feel that expansion in the mid lungs. And exhale. So breath hits the bottom of the lungs and then the mid lungs. Stay very present. When we're working like this slowly, the mind can become a bit dull and bored. And what I'd like you to have is this sense of curiosity, this sense of really 
noticing what is happening. Each breath a little bit of a mystery, being curious. So now let's come up to the upper lungs. Be careful not to touch the mic. So here we are just between the collarbones. So again, notice the breath, bottom, mid, and then come up to the upper lungs. And exhale. And do two or three more like that. Breathing into the bottom, the mid, and then feel it go right up into the upper lungs. Really nice. So filling up one more seated here. Bottom lungs, mid lungs, upper lungs. And exhale. Wonderful. So let's get the bolster. And so bolster or blankets, the exact same or pillow, whatever works. And here I'd like you to, the bum is on the floor and your chest is lifted. And your legs, if so as your feet can be together or you can lengthen the legs, man, whatever feels more comfortable. And let's come back to that deep breathing. So now we're mechanically opening in the chest and the lungs and full deep breath. So inhaling bottom, mid and upper lungs. And exhale, upper lungs empty, mid lungs, and then bottom lungs. And let all the air leave your body. And again, filling up bottom, mid, upper lungs. And exhaling upper, mid, and bottom. And keep going, stay present, be curious. Notice the breath going right down into that prime real estate in the bottom of the lungs and notice it filling right up to the top. And then notice as it empties, it empties from the top and then the mid and then the bottom. Let's do two more here. And here we're aiming for a smooth, even steady breath, okay? Really nice. And then carefully coming up, roll off your bolster and let's come to standing. Really nice. So standing, feet about hip distance apart and just close your eyes for a moment. And breathe. internalizing the mind. So we're gonna start with our hands at our heart and the hands and the arms are going to follow the movement of the breath. So as we inhale, the hands go down. So like the diaphragm going down. And then as we continue to inhale, we're filling the mid lungs all the way to the upper lungs. And then the same reverse action as we exhale, the hands are mirroring the breath. So the breath leaves the upper lungs, the mid lungs, the lower lungs, and then comes all the way up and the diaphragm rises like the hands back to the heart. Let's do a few more. So inhale, down, diaphragm descends, fill up. And then as you exhale, breath leaves the upper, and you can close your eyes, mid, and then lower lungs. Hands back to the heart and keep going. And here, find your pace. And it's always so interesting to notice if there's any kind of jarring or inconsistency in your breath. So do you find inhale a little bit more challenging? Or maybe it's the exhale. 
Do you find it a little bit more challenging in the lower lungs, the mid lungs or the upper lungs? So that sense of curiosity, exploring your own breath. Two more here. Ever so slightly hug the heels towards each other at the end of the exhale. That little lift of the pelvic floor like the, the, the thoracic diaphragm lifting. And last one. Relax the heels as you inhale. And as you exhale, breath leaving upper, mid and lower lungs. Little hugging of the heels. It's a uh, muscle, muscle engagement. Feel that little lift of the pelvic floor. Excellent. So let's come to the top of our mat. And we're going to move on the breath. And we'll remember the focus and priority is the breath. And so standing at the top of your mat, hands at your heart. And then as you inhale, hands go down, filling up mid bottom, mid upper lungs, reach all the way up, look up. And then as you exhale, folding the arms out to the side, breath emptying from the top, the mid and the lower lungs. Little bend in your knees can be a little bit more friendly. Hands to your shins, inhale, lift and fill up. As you exhale, hands come down and step back into a plank. Again, breath leaving your body. Nice, even breath. Take a full inhale here in plank. And remember, knees can be down. Fill up. And as you exhale, slowly make your way to the floor. So knees down or legs straight. Movement mirroring the breath. Toes point back, elbows in, inhale again, filling up bottom, mid, upper lungs. And then as you exhale, tuck your toes, come to all fours and push back into down dog. Inhale, filling up. And exhale, emptying. Feel that little lift of the pelvic floor as the diaphragm rises. One more, inhale, filling up. And exhale, empty. Look between your hands and let's walk or step to the top of your mat. Hands to your shins, inhale, lift your heart, fill up. As you exhale, fold forwards. Have that sense of the breath exiting, the lift of the pelvic floor. And then inhale, arms wide, fill up. And exhale, arms out to the sides, mirroring the breath and the lungs coming down. And then that little lift as the hands back to your heart. Let's keep going. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold. Staying very present. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, stepping back into plank. Really opening up from the inside, internalizing the mind. Inhale, fill up. Remember, knees can be down or lifted. And as you exhale, elbows in, knees down if you need to, and slowly make your way to the floor. Focus is on the breath. Toes point back, elbow, elbows in, inhale. And exhale back into down dog. Take a full inhale here. And a long exhale. Again, knees can be bent, no problem. One more inhale, fill up bottom, mid, upper lungs. And exhale, upper, mid, and bottom. Bend your knees, step, hop, or walk to the top of your mat. 
Hands to your shins. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, arms to the side, coming all the way up. And exhale, arms out, mirroring the breath. Little hug of the heels, pelvic floor lifts. Let's go again, inhale, lift, arms out to the side, reach up. Exhaling, fold forwards, follow the breath. Notice it. Hands to your shins, inhale, lift your heart. Exhaling, hands down and step back. Knees down or legs lifted. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, knees or no knees, and slowly make your way to the floor. Inhaling, cobra, shoulders in, elbows in, rather. And exhale, back into down dog. Full inhale. And a full exhale. One more inhale. And an exhale. Bend your knees, look between your hands, walk, step or hop to the top of your mat. Hands to your shins, inhale halfway. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up, arms out, mirroring the lungs and the breath. Exhale, arms out. Again, upper, mid, lower lungs, hands to your heart. Just stand for a moment. Feet hip distance, eyes closed and drop in. And now we're going to move the arms again on the breath, but we're going to increase the exhale this time. So hands to your heart. As you inhale, the hands go down. Breathe in for a count of four. And as we exhale, we breathe out for a count of four. You can close your eyes if you're comfortable. Inhale for four. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhaling for four. And exhaling for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for four. And exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that little hug of the heels, and one more, inhaling four. If, if eight is too much, just do less. The key is it's your exploration of your breath, and exhale for eight or whatever length suits you. Very nice. So let's step the left foot back so our legs are wide and bend the front knee, the right knee. So the right hand is gonna come onto your right thigh. And now left hand will start on your waist. And so opening up your chest here, really nice. And take an inhale here for four. Fill up, feel the ribs here expanding and exhale for four. If you want to bring your hand to the floor, you absolutely can, but you don't have to. You can leave it here in your thigh. Let's bring the left arm up 
Inhale for four. Again, bottom, mid, upper lungs. And as you exhale for five, maybe reach the arm overhead. And let's continue to extend the exhale. Inhale for four. And exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling four. And exhaling for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, inhaling four. And exhale for eight or whatever length suits you. Really nice. Inhale, coming up. And let's stay here in warrior two. Exhale, sink in. Looking over your right hand. Inhale for four. Let's straighten the front leg. And as you exhale for four, sink into that front knee. Come back to noticing. As you inhale for four, bottom, mid, upper lungs filling. As you exhale for five, upper, mid, and lower lungs. Inhale for four, straighten the leg. And exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Two more, inhaling four. Stay here. Don't let the mind wander, get dull. Tune into the subtlety. Last one, inhale four. And exhaling for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling four. And let's switch the legs. So now the left leg is forward. Bend that left knee. And now left hand comes to your thigh. And we start with the right hand on your hip. And let's inhale four here. And again, you have the option if you wish to bring the left hand to the floor, no problem. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Bring the arm up. Inhale for four. And exhale for five, six, four, three, two, one. If it's comfortable, you can reach the arm over. If you have any shoulder issue, leave the arm back at your hip, no problem. Inhale, fill up. And exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more inhale. And exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back into warrior two. Both arms straight to bent knee. Inhale, straighten your leg for four. And exhale for four, sinking in. Look over your front fingers. Relax your shoulders, inhaling four. And exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling four. And exhaling six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling four. And exhaling for seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. As you inhale, remember bottom, mid, upper lungs filling. And as you exhale, upper, mid, and bottom, exhaling long. Inhale, come to center. And now parallel the feet, interlace your hands behind your back. 
You can inhale here, lift the chest. And as you exhale, fold forward, knuckles towards the ceiling. And breathe. Never lose sight of the breath. Just cultivating a steadiness. When we face a challenging pose, the mind wants to start wandering and jumping around. We must keep the breath steady, repatterning the mind to not jump around in the face of a challenge, but to stay steady. And exhale a bit longer. Knuckles towards the ceiling. Relax the back of the neck. Let's do two more breaths here. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Push into the feet. Bend the knees a little bit. Come all the way up. Release the hands and just stand for a moment and tune in. So deep breaths. Just noticing. Starting to perceive perhaps a little bit more subtlety. So let's go again. So legs are wide, arms are out to the side. We're going to do the right hand to the left foot first. We're going to increase the exhale each time. So inhale here for four. And as you exhale, the right hand comes to the left foot for four. And twist. Inhale back up for four, three, two, one, and we stay on the same side and we exhale for five, four, two, two, and one. Inhaling for four, three, fill up, two, one. And exhaling for six and visualize that movement of the breath, upper, mid, and lower lungs emptying. As you inhale, visualize it filling up from the bottom, mid, and upper. And then exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. And last one, we'll exhale for eight or whatever suits your exhale each of us is unique and so see what works for you a long exhale inhale back up and we go to the other side so exhale for four left hand to the right foot this time inhale back up and exhale for five Four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, that sense of not seeking for anything. Just being fully present with your breath. Exhale six in this moment. Inhaling. Tuned in to exactly what you are experiencing right now. Exhale for seven. Inhaling for four. And exhale for eight. Letting the wisdom of the body arise. Breath by breath, exhaling for eight. Inhaling four. 
And exhale, hands down. You bring your feet closer together. Just stand for a moment. Tune in. So many benefits to diaphragmatic breathing. I have a video on my YouTube channel and I go through a lot of the brand benefits. So left foot back, right foot forward. It um, it's very, um, has massaging effect on all the internal organs. And again, like I was saying, the receptors for the parasympathetic nervous system are in the lowest part of the lungs, that prime real estate. So right leg is forward, right hand's on your waist. And here you want to try and kind of get your hips so that they're facing forward more. Absolutely no problem. A little bend in the front knee can be helpful. And so here we're going to inhale. Left arm comes up for a count of four. Fill up the lungs. And as we exhale for four, we're reaching forward. The right outer hip draws back. And that left hand comes down towards the right foot. And we'll go in and out with the breath. Inhaling four, so the asana, the movements are secondary. The primary focus is our breath. Exhaling for five. Think of that glass of milk, how it empties from the top down. Inhaling four. Push into the mound of that right big toe and draw the right outer hip back. Left hip forward, it helps with the balance. Exhaling for six. Inhaling four. And exhaling for seven. Draw that right hip back, helps the balance. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling four. And exhaling for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, coming all the way up. And as you exhale, let's turn the feet in the other direction. Left hand now to your waist. Exhale fully. Inhale, right arm rises. And exhaling, right arm comes forward, left outer hip draws back, coming down for four. Inhale, coming up for four. And exhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling four. And exhaling, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, four. And exhaling for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, inhaling four, fill up. Get the breath right down into the bottom of the lungs. And let's exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale. And stand and again, just take a moment and stand, breathe. Great, let's come down onto the floor. Very nice. And lying down, feet are about hip distance apart. I'm gonna come up into a bridge pose. So back of your head is pressing into the floor, your neck, is long, your chin ever so slightly tucked. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, lifting up. Interlace your hands behind 
your back if that suits. Another option can be to hold the edges of your mat. So if you grip onto the edges of the mat, that can sometimes be more comfortable for some people, or you can just have your hands pressing down, whichever works for you. Try to draw your upper arm bones in underneath and here notice. So your chest is in the same position we were in at the start with the bolster. And let's come back to deep breathing. Inhaling four and exhaling six. Press into the big toe mounds. Lift your hips. Stay with the breath. Inhaling four, exhaling six. I know a strong sensation in the legs, perhaps in the hips and the sacrum. Your task is to stick with a steady breath. Let's do three more breaths here. And notice as you fill up bottom, mid, upper lungs. And as you empty upper, mid, and bottom. Two more. Lengthening your exhale. And now release your hands, take a full inhale. And slowly, slowly exhale, coming down. Great work. Draw your knees into your chest and just rock a little bit side to side. Place the feet on the floor and bit. let both of your legs fall to the left. And then here, I want you to look over your right shoulder and feel the expansion in your chest. Feel the lengthening along the whole right side of your body. Full breaths. Three part full yogic breathing. Long exhale, and when you're ready, inhale, bring the legs back up. And let's go to the side. So the legs now go to the right, and you look over your left. And full breaths here. Perhaps close your eyes and just notice the expansion and contraction. Inhale and exhale. Again, exhale a little bit longer. Do one more here. Really nice. And let's come up to sitting. We're coming to Jani Shashasana, one of my favorites. So the left leg is forward and draw the right heel in towards the inside of the left knee. And as I always say, right, if you're knee is floating and pop a sit backwards this way pop a pillow under the knee to support it right so you never want to, if the knee is very high up here put a bit of strain on the hip and on the knees joint so pop a pillow underneath unless your knees down lower really nice so let's inhale and reach up and exhale extend for four and you can leave your hands now at the side of your shins and inhale, lift your chest for four. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. You don't have to. And exhale for five, leaning forwards. Lengthening chest towards your feet, more than head towards your knees. So 
keeping the length and the spine, inhaling for four. And exhale for six. Filling up as you inhale for four, breath right down into the lowest part of your lungs first. And exhale for seven. And one more, inhaling four. And exhaling for eight. Inhale, coming up. And let's switch legs. Your leg extends, draws a knee in, or the foot in rather. And hands can stay down if you like, or you can inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, hinge at the hips and lean forwards. And then leave your hands on the floor, wherever suits you. It could be up near your thigh, your knee, your shin. Inhaling for four, lift up, fill up. And exhale for five. No end destination, no goal. It is all about the journey, breath by breath. Inhaling four. So be with what is. Exhaling six. Inhaling four. Exhaling seven. Inhaling four. And exhaling for eight. Take your time. Really nice. Inhale, come up. And let's make our way into Shavasana. And so here, blankets pillows, eye pillows. It's really nice to have something to cover your legs. I'm going to stay seated as I guide you through the Shavasana. And so please make yourself very comfortable. It's nice to put a blanket on your body. It's really nice to cover your eyes if you can. And so even the sleeve of a jumper over your eyes is nice. It helps to relax that just a little bit more. And so close your eyes. It can be nice to put a pillow under your legs. I always like a pillow under my neck, under my head rather, not my neck, under my head. And so make sure you're as comfortable as you can possibly be. These moments, they're very precious, where we get to relax and to be very present. They are unfortunately like little gems in our lives. And so when we are experiencing them, let's have that sense of real gratitude. Here it is. You've moved your body. You've really maintained your focus, internalized the mind. When we do this kind of practice, we really build a pranic energy in our bodies. So relax your eyes, your jaw, your mouth, your tongue. Your neck. Your chest. All 
the way down your belly, your hips, your legs. And pay attention to the inner space of your body. A gentle rise and fall of your chest. Completely relax. Have that feeling of healing at every level of your being, of really dropping in to the deeper layers of your being. That wellspring of wisdom, compassion, kindness, When we drop beneath the surface, now I'd like you to bring your awareness down to the soles of your feet. And as you inhale, feel this wash of awareness come from the soles of your feet up through your legs, through your spine, to the crown of your head. And then exhale from the crown of your head down through your spine, through your legs, to the soles of your feet. And do that a couple of more times, inhaling all the way up to the crown of your head and exhaling down to the soles of your feet. This flow of awareness through your body, through your spine and feel your body relax even more deeply. And now bring your awareness as you exhale down to your ankles. And from your ankles, inhale up to the spine, to the crown. And exhale from the crown down to the spine, to the legs, to the ankles. And continue like that, inhaling up this fluid flow of awareness and exhaling down to your ankles. Inhaling to the crown of your head. And next time you exhale from the crown down to the spine, to the legs, only go as far as the back of your knees. And inhale up from the knees, the lower spine, all the way to the crown. And exhale down back to the knees. And go at your pace, with your breath. It's a gentle movement of awareness. Keeping your attention moving.
And now the next time you exhale, come to the base of the spine. And then inhale to the crown of the head. And exhale down through the spine to the base of your spine. And next time you exhale, exhale from the crown down to the sacrum, sacrum at the back, pubic bone at the front. It's about halfway between the base of the spine and the navel. And inhale from the sacrum to the crown of the head. And when you exhale, Exhale to the navel. Just take a couple of breaths here, breathing from the navel up through the spine to the crown of the head. And from the crown of the head down through the spine to the navel. And next time you exhale from the crown, come down to the heart center and inhale from the heart center to the crown. So still a steady, smooth breath at a pace that's suitable for you, not forcing at all. You've cultivated a real steady breath to this last nearly hour of practice. And next time you exhale from the crown, come down to the throat. And then from the throat, back up to the crown. Inhaling to the crown. And as you exhale, bring your awareness to your third eye, center of the forehead. And stay with this flow from the third eye, inhale to the crown, and exhale from the crown to the third eye. And have the sense of the breath coming all the way down to the opening of the nostrils. And then from the nostrils up through the nose, the corners of the eyes, the third eye, and to the crown. And from the crown to the center of the brain, the third eye, inner corners of the eyes, down to the nostrils. And follow this pathway, inhaling up. And exhaling down. And now release your focus on the breath. And stay here. In this deep, relaxed stillness. and totally surrender. This real sense of trust lying back into your deep wisdom. Letting go. Dwell in that deep space within We access that intelligence, the compassion, the love that just comes forth out of us. It's spontaneous, it's within us. It's not 
based on any specific event. The sense of gratitude, kindness, and love. Compassion. And listen to that inner sense, that inner voice of your heart. That deep sense of you. Just for a moment, have the sense of all of the hearts here tonight connected, all of us having had a deep experience of our own selves, but together. And so if you wish to stay here, and I encourage if you can, and if you have time, and just allow your body to rest, to integrate, to absorb. You've created this incredible coherence. I love the word coherence, that sense of balance, that sense of coming into yourself, if you are feeling lethargic, that you're more energized internally, if you are feeling anxious, that you're feeling more balanced now. That is a sense of your cells firing together in a coherent way. So if you have the time and the inclination, stay here and rest a bit more. I'm going to quietly close the Zoom room. And thank you all so much for joining me tonight.